Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, chefs. Welcome. I'm, my name is Ben Bartlett. I'm the treasurer and board member for the Master Chefs of Great Britain. We're very proud and honoured to be at this fantastic venue. I know you're going to have a fantastic day. We've got some of the best chefs in the country here. So welcome, all of you. Thank you for your patience. And uh, I'd like to introduce the executive chef from the old course at St. Andrews, Martin Hollis. Hi there. On behalf of the old course hotel, we'd like you to welcome you to the property. And I'm sure you're going to have a really, really good day, very interesting day. There's things you're going to have see here. Some will be classical, some of, a bit, bit of it will be new. And I'm sure that you'll all learn something. There's a lot of tasting little bits next door. There's going to be a, a modern sort of street food lunch going on for yourselves through the back there. During the demonstrations, if you've got questions, raise your hand, and then somebody will come round with a roving mic, and you can ask the questions, and I'm pretty sure they'll be pleased to give you an answer. Okay, I really do hope you have a good day, and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. The Master Chefs of Great Britain was founded in 1980, and we support young chefs like yourselves. We're a non-for-profit organization, and I'm very pleased and honored to say thank you um, to our chairman and his team, his fantastic wife, who's put Serena so much hard work into today. But now, please welcome to the stage the chairman of the Master Chefs of Great Britain, George McIver. Well done, Ben. You just managed to get that out there. That's good. Um, that was kind of last gas, Ben. Um, ladies and gentlemen, students, I'll tell you what, when I was a kid, I never had anything like this in my life, the opportunity to what you're going to see today. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun here. Um, it's going to be interactive. I want you to ask as many questions as you can. Um, after each demonstration, there'll be a table up here. The chefs will come up. You want to speak to them. You want to have photos. You can do whatever you want. Through in the Green Sheds area, we've got lots of suppliers with lots of tasty bits for you to have a look at. Beautiful um, seafood shellfish display. You want to learn from the guys, learn what the species are. Just speak to them. Everybody's here to help. Um, even old timers like Joe Queen sitting on the stage there, I'm sure he's got something to say too. Um, but um, very excited about today and uh, our first two demonstrators that are going to come on stage, um, we have Mr. Stephen Doherty, who was the UK's first ever three Michelin star chef. Um, he says he's the guy who never lost one, okay? I'll let you work that out for yourselves. And then assisting him, we have the UK's first ever um, the TV master chef, the professional, Derek Johnson. So, ladies and gentlemen, could you give a great big welcome here to Stephen Doherty and Derek Johnson. And they're going to be um, assisted here today by my um, fish filleting companion to the stars, Stuart from CPM. Stuart, you come and Welcome take your spot here. Come on, Stuart. Come on. Thank you. 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 Welcome, Stuart. Are we off? You're on. Okay, you fine. should be off. Fine. Okay. Um, Derek just asked me, are you nervous before we do these things? Of course not. Just the other day in the kitchen. There's a, there's a wee bit of nervousness there, which, which is good. So, so first and foremost, I'd like to say a, a very warm welcome to you all today. Thank you, Scotland, and thank you for all turning up. I hope you all enjoy today, and you all get something out of it, as, as, as George has just said. Um, it's, today is about learning, education, and having a bit of fun. So there's quite a bit going on today, which I'll get back to in a minute. And obviously, today is all about vegan food. Oh, sorry, fish. Sorry, big your pardon. So, <laughs> sorry, wrong. That's tomorrow. Sorry. Tomorrow, so tomorrow. Today. So today is all about fish, which we'll come on to in a second. 
Um, as uh, was announced before, it is about learning, it's about education, and without, ram without ramming it down your throats, please ask questions, that's what we're here for. I'm very, very, very open, and please, when you see me wandering around, you want to stop me, talk to me, or whatever, it's the same with Derek. So, enough of that for the moment. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to be with Derek, and we've got the, we've been through the room mill, so to speak. Uh, me, me, me a wee bit more than him. So we've got that, that, that Roo, the Roo um, training in us, which is, I suppose is a wee bit different to some other kitchens, but it certainly didn't, certainly didn't do us any harm. Sadly, as you probably know, neither of them are with us anymore. Um, Michelle and Albert are in the cookery kitchen in the sky somewhere. We're having a bloody great we, we time, I'll tell you. You're, you're always wondering if he's going to creep up behind us in service. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> them and Chef Fairley will be having yeah, some fun up there. <laughs> me, and, me and Derek have laughed about the other day. Little devil that he, little devil that he is that he was. Okay, um, let's talk about fish and sustainability. Um, so today, that's another very important thing. So there's no farmed salmon today. Um, and we've got some amazing fish which arrived last night courtesy of Campbell's here. And we've got a monkfish, which we're gonna do. So you can see, do you wanna pick, a, you, you, you've got, yeah. you can get your hands nice yeah, and dirty. So we've, got, so we've got, so we do something with a monkfish. So a monkfish is a pretty ugly thing. And the head is about two thirds the size of the body. So if you see a monkfish tail this big, then the head is about half the size of this table. We can also use the cheeks on the monkfish. You can cut them out and they're going to be quite small, but you can get monkfish cheeks like this, which are, which, are, which are used a lot in France. So Stuart's going to prep this, we're going to skin it, and we're going to trim it up, and I'm going to cut, we're, going to, we're going to cut through the bone. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Then we've got lovely cod here. So the cod, again, we'll talk about the freshness. You can see the freshness here. Stuart can talk a bit, bit more about that. But you can see this. Can we get I've got it. Right, so look, look at this fish, beautiful. So there we go. Everyone talks about super fresh fish, absolutely amazing. And it, it's a weird thing to say, isn't it? But f f fresh fish doesn't smell of fish. You just smell, it just smells of the sea. It's, it's amazing. Then we've got a beautiful lemon sole. Not the cheapest fish in the world anymore. That's another thing we'll talk about, George, is about fish is becoming quite expensive. And Don't come looking to me for money. Uh, sorry, George. Don't come looking to me for money. <laughs> so here's an amazing, an amazing lemon sole. Beautiful. So we're going to fill it that. And we've got a sea bass here, and that's super fresh. Look at this guy, look, gorgeous. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. And we're going to do a lobster dish as well. So, um, you got the lobster in yet, Derek? No, I don't know. OK, and we're going to do a lobster dish. Just give me hands yeah. a, quick, a, quick, a quick wipe. So the dishes we're going to do today, thank you, Derek. Um, we decided to do old school, retro, if you like. I was talking to Stevie McLaughlin, he's in the audience over there. Good morning, Stevie, welcome. We know who Stevie McLaughlin is. And we're talking about, you know, what, what's important, um, what's relevant today. And there's certain styles of cookery which have gone out of fashion, if you like. Old school, as you call it, whatever else, I don't know what are the words. But that's what we're going to do We wouldn't take offence to that, Chef. We wouldn't, we wouldn't take offence to that. Okay. No. <laughs> so, um, that's what, that's where we're going, to, we're going today. So, we're going to go... Uh, we're going to do um, a lobster cooked in French. It's called à la nage, which basically means swimming. Uh, to nage in French is to swim. So we're going to make a really lovely court bouillon, uh, short stock in French. We're going to cook the lobster in that. I'm going to make a beurre blanc, classic French butter sauce, which we've both been shown how to do by our mentors. So that, that's lovely. We're going to be delicious. Then we're going to do um, a cod. We're going to do a darn of cod. We'll come back to these terms in a minute. So we're going to, do anyone know what a darn is and a fish? Where does, what kind of fish does a darn come from? Anybody? What kind of, you've got two kinds of fish. What have you got? Don't be, all right, well done, yes. And one more? Thank you, excellent, there we go. Right, love it. So she's on the VIP table for lunch now. Right? Yeah, she is, yeah. So we've got two kinds of fish, mainly flat and round fish. So this is a round fish. And we're going to cut a darn, which is cut, cut through the bone, which uh, Stuart's going to do for us. And we're going to post that on the bone. Um, we, did want, we wanted the fish ungutted, but we couldn't get that, so it's by the by. Then we're going to do, we also wanted to get some mackerel for this today. Or mackerel, which didn't turn up. Neen in Scotland. No mackerel in Scotland. Anyway. So they tell me. Sorry? So anyway. they tell me. So we're going to do the monkfish, 
which is going to be even more interesting, even more tasty than the mackerel fillet. And uh, lemon sole, Philip's Stuart's going to fillet that. We're going to do popiets. I'm going to poach that. We're going to do a classic sauce du glary, which is white man's sauce with tomato and cassé, shallot, parsley, and again, a, a velouté sauce, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, Russell from Glen Eagles is going to do something very similar. So that's, that's interesting. Ooh. And then um, we're going to do the sea bass. So Stuart, what did he call it, the term? Canood. Canood? Yeah. Okay. So he's going to canoe the fish, which basically means he's going to bone it. We're going to, he's going to scale it, get, the, get the, uh, the fins off. He's going to scale it. He's going to bone it out from the back. So we're going to leave the fish whole. And we're going to bake it in a salt, in a salt crust in the oven. So it's on, in French, that's called en croute de sel. And again, we'll serve that with a, with a, with a butter sauce. Um, we're gonna, the sauces we're going to do today, so I'm going to do a beurre blanc, which is going to go with the, the, um, the cod. Is that yes. key? Yeah. You keep on saying it's going with the lobster. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to do um, a, roux, so a couple of roux sauces. We're going to do one which is called bois boudron, which is B-O-I-S, which means wood, and boudron, B-O-U-D-R-A-M. And it was invented by Michel Roux about 40 years ago for one of his, uh, when he was cooking for uh, one of the Rothschild family in Paris. So it's, a, it's a vinaigrette sauce with, it's a slightly odd one, ketchup, Worcester yeah. sauce, shallots, Weird. loads of herbs, white wine and oil. But it's, a, it's an amazing sauce. It's an emulsion sauce which you can serve with lots of different things. It would have been great with the mackerel, but with the monkfish it's going to be just as good. Uh, then we're going to do the, the velouté with the... Uh, with the lemon sole. And is that it for today, Derek? Yeah, I think so. Not okay, yeah. fine. Okay, that's enough for the moment. Um, lobster, going to go in? Yeah, we need okay, to kill so it. Could you yeah. dispatch yeah. the okay. lobster, please? So, uh, Derek's going to start cooking the lobster. Um, last, 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 not least, last but not least, we'll start cooking in a minute. Um, things, things, things move on. Things move on, on quickly. And I've been cooking for 45 years now. And we used to use this book. And which is called the repertoire of the cuisine. Want, That's want, 45 so, so years old. I'll just put it through there. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's interesting. A lot of it is not relevant anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But in this book, there were 40 recipes for, for lobster, 60 recipes for salmon, and there were 250 Sorry. recipes for Dover sole. Because that, that's what people were, were eating. A lot of the sauces would have been rich and cream, butter based, which again, I think is, you can use up to a point. But the yep. world's moved on from that. So we were talking about this last night. And then this book I brought in, this is my first book. In there, on the first page of fish, we're talking about the cuts of fish, which is why we're here today, learning. You've got darn, you've got tronson, you've got fillet, you've got suprems, you've got delice, you've got goujons, and we've got popiette. So all those terms are in there, which are still relevant to, to, sorry, I don't sorry, sure. to, to, to this day. And again, being, being here in Scotland, Albert Roux was in love with Scotland. Uh, he, called it, he called it the larder of Europe. And some of the stuff you've got in this country, the produce is just absolutely amazing. So we're surrounded by water in Scotland, some of the finest fishing waters in not just Europe, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the world. Uh, uh, ab absolutely, um, Stephen. Where's Dornoch? Have we got Dornoch College here? Yeah, that we've got Dornock. So that was, that was one of his favourite parts in this world. And uh, well done, you guys, on Zesquest Asia in London last week. We're very yeah, proud of you all. Yeah, well done. Yes, sir. Albert, yeah. Albert will be looking down. Absolutely. So, so yeah, so you guys are lucky up here. So surrounded by, by water, some of the finest fishing in, in the world. Absolutely. End of. So it's just a pleasure to be here doing some of the fish. Right. Uh, we're going to get on with a bit of cooking. What are you looking for, Derek? Uh, balls. Sorry? Oh, um, down here. Down here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sure. You've lost it already. <laughs> Sorry? Okay. okay. Good job. Good job, Albert's not here. Okay, oh, fine. No. Sorry. Okay, so we'll get, we'll get rid of them. If anyone wants to have a look at those, you're very welcome to pick them up. Don't nick them, please. I don't know how many cookery books we've lost over the years. Chef say, can I borrow that book, Chef? Yeah, no problem. I'm just going to look at the recipe. And you forget, it's gone. And about 10 years later, you're looking for a recipe for something. I think, I know, where, I know which book it was in. Too late. The book has gone. Right then, so Derek, what are we up to? Okay, so lobsters in the, the coat bouillon. So yep. we've just got some fish stock, leek, shallots, black peppercorn, star anise, white wine, and salt. Yeah, so we're not, we're not just cooking the, the, the lobster in salted water. He's made, we've made a stock, yes. which, will give, which will give the lobster 
a, a lot more flavor, which is really important. And then we're, we're going to do the nage, the cool bouillon, which Derek's going to crack on with in a minute, and for, to, cook the, to, cook, to cook the cod in. And then we're going to do the dressing, this warm butter on dressing, this strange dressing, where actually it really does work. People, people really, really love it. And it's relevant today, being, being in a mushroom sauce with, with oil. And there's no, so there's no, there's no cream in there. It's, it's vegan as well. It's vegan and vegetarian, which is, which is a massive thing in this day and age. You can't, although we, we, we may scream and curse, that's, that's, where, that's where we're at. So just, just get on with it, guys, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, fine. Okay, so um, over to Stuart. Okay. So Stuart's going to start prepping some fish. So let's start with the... Um, and the cheeks. Let's do the cheeks, yeah. So you're mic'd up now, aren't you? No. Want to switch Stuart on, so please? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Can, sure. We were going. We were, we were going to turn the mic off, but um, we thought it'd be best if we don't talk about football today. No, okay. that's yeah. it. Okay, fine. Okay, right, okay, so, so yep. you go. As Stephen was saying, um, the cheeks and monkfish and cod and even halibut are absolutely a fantastic dish and um, coming really into their own. Um, a lot of people are uh, getting them on their on their menus, so it's a it's a big and al also for. The likes of um, ourselves, it's an extra, uh, you know, costing for the for the monkfish tails as well. So what you are, you've got two lovely, lovely cheeks in here. Um, you're coming in by the Not by the cheekbone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. And it, you're you're basically just just taking it out, and it really does just fall out with a knife as you're you're coming round the cheekbone. How big are those cheeks? Okay. They're not the biggest, no, obviously, of that size, you know, you, you, you do get the, the bigger size, and I'll take the, you take the membrane off, so you just lift it, you lift your knife just a little touch, just to take the, the sinewy, yep. the sinewy, because if you, if you cook with that on it, it shrinks the, the so meat up. So that, there you go, there's your, there's your Beautiful piece of meat. Uh, when, I was, when I was working in France, um, many, many years ago, we used to get monkfish cheeks there, and these monkfish cheeks were this big, so the size of the monkfish must have been absolutely... Huge, um, yeah, yeah, you do. I mean, we, we get them in, you know, the, the big, big kind of horse's heads, maybe you call oh, wow. them. Yeah, that's yeah. That's fantastic. So do you, all, do you all get to use and handle fish at college? You do? Okay, that's really important. Thank God for that. Okay. And interestingly, um, um, How many times do you handle whole monkfish? Yeah, no, not yet, okay. Well, not in the budget. Well, not yet, later on. That's before lunchtime. Mm -hmm. They don't know that yet. Um, the... The, the, the world of fish has moved on as well. So, again, 20, 30 years ago, fish was, was much more plentiful, and it certainly wasn't expensive as, as it is now. So we are using, you know, as I said in that book, there was like 200 recipes for, 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 got it, for, do, for Dover sole. Dover sole is like 15 quid a fish now. Is yeah. that right, Derek? 15, yeah, 20 quid a fish? Yeah, it's expensive, yeah. yeah. So that's, Depends that's, on the season. In certain cases, that's cost prohibitive. So that's why we're using things like um, monkfish. Again, 30, 40 years ago, you wouldn't have seen monkfish in a three-star Michelin restaurant. It wouldn't have been considered good enough. Now it's accepted, as is pollock and grey mullet and all these other kinds of mackerel indeed. But it's interesting because you put mackerel on the menu, and I don't know how many people are going to nod their heads, but it's really hard to sell sometimes. Yep. It's, it's just an amazing fish, and it costs nothing. And I, was, I explained to George yesterday, there's a chef called Tom Brown in London, He's got Cornerstone. Uh, really, I really, I really love the young chefs out there. That they, their, their, their inspiration and their, their ideas they've got. And he was doing an amazing raw fillet of, of, of mackerel. He used the whole fillet and he found it on the plate. And it was served at kitchen temperature with a, with, a, with like a, a ceviche marinade on top last minute. It would have been absolutely amazing. Lovely. But um, there we go. Right. Lovely. Shut up. Sorry. Okay. Off you go, Stuart. So. So to take the to take the membrane off, I'll just take off the take off the fins. Okay, you go, lovely. Okay. Right, so Stuart, um, so when we'll you're <coughs> well, what yeah. I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll right. take off all the I'll just cut in a little bit here. Right. And I'll, I'll take the I'll take your membrane off both sides. You could you could put that in fish top, but you can't you can't do anything else with it really. It's pretty. It's just. It is, it, is a waste, it is a wasteful fish. I mean, so, certain fish, you've got like 50, 60% waste. Worst one, that's one of the worst. John Dory. Is the, anyone use John Dory or cook John Dory, eat John Dory? That strange looking fish. It's a flatfish, George, yeah? Pardon? Yeah. John Dory is a flatfish, yeah? Yeah. Indeed. And that's got 60% waste. It's a, it's a really expensive. 
fish oh, to use, but tiny fillets out of it. Very delicious, though. Absolutely. All right. So, so what we're going to do with these, we're going to cut through the bone, and we're going to. It's not really a darn, but 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 it is. But it's still it's still a, a round fish. So the darn is cut from a round fish. So salmon, cod. I'm going to cook. We're going to cook it on the bone. So if we cook it on the bone, it's going to shrink a lot less. And in French, we call it a, a cutlet. A cutlet de lot. Lot is um, monkfish in French, so it's a cutlet de lot. And um, absolutely amazing. So, right, about. right, Stuart. So if you cut me yep. um, pieces, we'll do about about pieces like that. Okay, straight through. Okay. So if you give me about three That's three fantastic. bits, Derek, for the monkfish, or four? Say again, chef. Three or four bits. Uh, three. Three bits. Three. Okay. So okay. three bits. Be generous. Like that. Okay. And you can actually, if you get a nice small monkfish, you can actually roast the whole thing mm. and serve it or grill it, even, even char grill, which is absolutely amazing. So he's on with that. Right, back to this. So Derek is making the Bois Boudron sauce. So he's made an emulsion with the tomato ketchup. I know it's a bit weird. This is from the Three Star Kitchen. Very odd. The tomato ketchup, the Worcester sauce, uh, the white wine vinegar. Is that right, Derek? Yep. And now, now the oil goes in. It says... And then we've not got oil, but we're using uh, grapeseed. I'm using grapeseed, sorry. Yep. Okay, caught me out there. Don't want to have it We've got the herbs, so we've got some really nice. Look at that skill. Finely chopped shallot, chopped chimes, yep. Yep. Chopped tarragon, yep. chopped Shevel. chervil, which, yep. go, which go in last minute. Yep. So this, this sauce needs to be served ambient. You can make it and keep it in the fridge for days, weeks, leave it in the fridge and bring it out. But make sure it's at room temperature before you, before you serve it. So it's in, it's in the Rue books. And Michel wrote about 10 or 12 different books. And uh, it's in about two or three of his books. It's a weird one. It was originally designed to go with chicken, but it goes extremely well with, with, yeah, with certain fish. Poached yeah. salmon as well. Yeah, po poached, yeah, absolutely poached salmon. Okay, so that's the... Um, can I, you got a spare tray there, Derek? Of course, Chef. So we're going to put the fish cuts on a, on a tray so you can all see. Wonderful. Thank you. Look at that. So there we go. Some amazing, um, super fresh uh, darn of monkfish. So, Trust me over here, put out the way. Right, next. So, do you want to do the cod sure. for me, please? Yes. So, here we go. An amazing um, fresh cod. Obviously, cod and chips, big favourite. Oh, there we go, uh, chef. When you can get it. Oh, good. A wee how fish supper now and again. Yes, how, how many of these would you like? Uh, I'm just, just going to do just one darn, Derek, yeah. Or I think, two. No, one's enough. Chef. One, yeah, we're going to do one. You want, it, you want it from? Some about from, yeah, from about in the middle. From there, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. keep it. Cool. So, we'll keep it. Right, Stuart, do you want to talk about that? Yep. Um, I'd just like to go back to the, the macro. I know I was getting blamed for not bringing no, you're that. Not getting <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it was just at the, the fishing quarters, obviously, with the macro. I know, um, well, you know, the, yeah. the, the last, the last uh, few seasons, and, you know, everyone was going with the cod, and um, a, lot of, a lot of chefs were getting pushed on to using fish that we don't use, as in like mackerel and gunnard, and, and then the mackerel, the mackerel fishing went up quite, quite dramatically, um, so it was the, the quite strict quotas come in for it, so yeah, they're, okay. they're actually just about right. to kick okay. in for this uh, for right. this, okay. Thank for this, for this year. Do you know what we used to, up, up in Spey Bay, you know, when I used to live up in Morrisha, you know, I used to go with the kids to, to Spey Bay, food. With a line. Throw in the hooks. You'd six, like eight, six at a time, I know, I know, I was the same just, in, the, in Loch Fine, I was the exact same. I would go, kids, stop catching them, because I've got yeah. a fillet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it on? No, I'll do it okay, next. Right, I'll Have you been to the um, restaurant in um, London, Mr. Doherty, called Fallow? Yeah. Cod's Heed is his biggest seller. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. he, he uses everything that um, other people chuck away. Um, so he, he takes Alaskan salmon, and he'll only use the belly oh, of it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, don't worry. Um, so of course, it's go on. No, sorry, you've also got cod cheeks as well. Yep. Which are yeah, absolutely delicious. You, the Spanish go crazy for them. Do you want me to take them right, out now? So, so, so you can have a yeah, look at them. Sure, can show you that. Okay. So listen, guys. So this is the this is the Boisbourg dressing. Um, we will give you the recipe if you want later on. What's it? Yeah, all all the recipes um, that yeah. you'll see here today will be on the Master Chef's website. Thank you. Can't okay. Right. So this, if this you is, tell me, this I was going to take that off and then. Amazing. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Emulsion sauce from nothing. It looks. It looks. Absolutely, I'm going to say to myself, it's absolutely delicious. And one of, one of my, one of my favourite things. Did you, did you learn that at Gavroche, Derek? Yes, yeah. That was at Gavroche. Okay, fine. Right. Okay, so, um, he's cracking on with that. There's your, your codfish head. Again, any, 
Cheeks are coming off. Look at these beautiful cheeks. Absolutely amazing. You can deep fry them, Spanish deep fry them. They're serving all kinds of dips and things, which I just love. There we go. I mean, a lot, a lot of the fishing, Stephen, they would, the heads would just be chucked straight back into the water. Yeah, I know, absolutely. I mean, just absolutely shocking. Right, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about the, the court bouillon, which in French means a short stock, or a nage. And a nage, as I said, is the verb to swim in French. And um, so the, the cod's going to swim in a nage. So what we've done, we've got um, shallots, we've got um, parsley, We've got star anise, which I learned from when I was in France. And we've got some peppercorns in there. Yeah, I'm going to put some lemon. White wine. And then a bit of, bit of, bit of retro stuff here. So we've used a, used a cannelé knife. So we made some little carrot flowers, if you like, which are going to go in. You don't have to do that. But you can actually, you can actually serve the cod in the core. I'll tell you what, um, Stuart, just leave two small darns with you. Do another wee one, please. Is that, so look at that. too thick? Um, <laughs> So cut that in half. Through or, the, or you want me to do? So just cut that yeah, through okay. the centre. Yeah, we'll yeah. use it. Okay. So um, you can actually serve the fish or langoustine in the core bouillon in the stock. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. Okay. You okay? Make, make yourselves at home. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Grab that cup. You need a sheet. Let's get these guys settled in. Don't worry. How you doing? Good to see you. Good morning. Right, so you've got, a wee, you've, got a wee bit, you've got a wee bit to catch up on, but you're very welcome. Our South Lanark should have arrived. Oh, Pardon? good morning. Good morning. I don't want to hear about buses, okay? Sorry, we don't want to talk about buses. I know, I've heard it all before. My mum didn't give me my pocket money. The Sorry. dog ate my homework. But you're here now. I'm welcome. Big Sorry. round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, from South Lanarkshire. Okay. On the podium. Nice to see you all. So... You're doing the washing up afterwards. We, need, we needed a team to do the washing up. So there, there we go, Stuart. And, uh, and George. Right, so this is for the Nash. So we've got some little carrot flowers. And then we've got, we've also done the same with the lemon, which we've cannelade, very old fashioned, very old school. But we just thought, what the hell, why not? It's just a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit of fun. So that's what we've done. But that's what we've see, done see um, when we used to do, um, or if we were ever able to get a wild salmon, but probably could sea trout. When you served it in the court bouillon, you always had the, the cannelade lemon, the cannelade yeah. um, carrot. Yeah. And, uh, no, and, and when it went out, probably yeah. cannelade cucumber. I don't know, I just heard it. That, that went out to the table, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A garnish. I mean, I know you looked yes. far too young to know that, but... So, because the, we, we, we wanted the fish ungutted, that means the, you draw, you, you, you'd got the, the fish through the, through the gills, Sorry, Stephen, say that again. You wanted the fish so ungutted the fish because... Ungutted. Same with the salmon. So if you, traditionally, if you were doing a darn, a cut through a round fish, as we talked about, you wouldn't gut it. You wouldn't open it up from the bottom. So you'd gut it through the gills. Sorry, sorry Stuart, I think about it. Right. You'd gut it through the gills, so then you've got the lovely... This, this bit would be, would be joined up. Ah, so it doesn't, intact. It doesn't, so you get a lovely um, round effect. But it's fine. We're gonna, Stuart's going to pin that together with some... Um, some cocktail sticks. So there's, there's, your, there's your darn cod. It's absolutely superb. Look at that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. So Stuart's going to get that ready for me. There we go. That's your next job. There's your, after that, you're going to fill it the, you're going to fill it the lemon salt. Okay. Sure. It's wonderful having a fish preparation guy. It's amazing. Stephen, you just want these yeah, to... So what we're going to do... Sorry, big apologies. Very talented boy, our Stuart. Just pin it through there like that. Okay. And then... Bring it around here like this, like that. And that should just keep it together when we're cooking it, okay? Just push it through there, push it through the skin. He says, oh, there we go. That's it. No Maybe get to, and put one through the other way as well. So right. that, that'll okay. keep it together. Sure. And we'll put that on that on that tray here. Okie dokie. So Derek, Derek's cooked the lobster. And it's just cooling off. As you saw before, we got Stuart to, to uh, Dispatch it, is that the right word? Yep. yep. So we, we didn't want to be, uh, me, and De me and Derek didn't want to be accused of murder on social media. Yeah, so <laughs> we, we don't let, want any aggressive emails we'll, tomorrow. We'll, we'll let him get on with it, so he's going to get whatever his Facebook account is, you know. <laughs> Stick it on there, not ours, please. Okay. Okay, okay so, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to make the, the crust for the sea bass. So this was a, a, an old favourite, and it was in, I was looking through Pierre Kopman's book, and he was What's doing it? the sea bass. 
Yeah. On a salt crust. So we've got the salt. We've got some um, rosemary and thyme. If you want, you can just put large pieces of rosemary in there or thyme. But we've ch we've chopped it up. And there, it goes in there. Sorry, Derek. You okay there? Yeah, I'm good. Got some fennel seeds. They're going to go in. Does this originate from Spain or France? It's, or? It's, yes, it's, it's it's Spanish. It's French. A, 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 a lot of uh, Spanish cookery is in salt. Um, we used to do it at Gavroche a lot. Um, you probably see it on fish menus, Scots in London, things like that. It smells great. If you want to use really expensive sea salt from Brittany, that's Smalden, is that right? <laughs> yeah. But you can use. What are you laughing at? Just, uh, yeah, I'm okay. cheap chef. Okay. Cheap salt. Yeah, I'm just all cheap. the sea salt's cheap. Yeah, okay, nice nice, nice to anyone? see Stephen smiling. Right, so, um, there's, your, there's your sea salt, which is Malden. There's other stuff out there. I was talking the other day about. Um, um, sea salt, when you've got some really expensive stuff from France off the Brittany coast, which is pink, which is gorgeous, and from the salt flats in the Camargue, which is in the south southwest of France. Right, has that been weighed out? The egg whites, yes, okay. So then the egg whites go, the egg whites go in, and there are recipes for salt crust with, uh, with flour as well. But we're we're going to mix that up, right? So while I'm doing that, Stuart, do you want to crack on with the, sure. the, 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 the lemon salt, please? We're going to fillet it. And skin it, yeah? Yep. But it's great. So I'm going to mix this up. Stuart, maybe just hold it up to the audience. Sure. Sorry? Sorry. Okay, fine. So, Stuart, off you go. So, dark side. Lemon, so, dark on one side, white on the other. This is the, this is the more expensive, well, apart from Dover sole, this is the next uh, kind of expensive uh, flatfish. And then you've got the grey sole, or witch sole, which is a, a cheaper version, but still in its own right, a, yeah. a lovely flesh. Still got the sea slime on it, I see. Yeah, aye. Yeah. Well, th See with fish, when it's got the slime on it, it protects it over the first 48 hours. Obviously, if you've had it any length of time, it starts to deteriorate it very quickly. But obviously, you're, you're getting the fish out as quick as you can. Yeah. Good. Okay, fine. So it's and did you get much call um, in your business for people still wanting wholesale? No. Did uh, take top skin up most is fillet? Yeah, to put, uh, everything, everything's prepped. I would say 95% 90, is prepped oh. going out the door. Uh, yeah. that, and that's fully understandable. Yeah. Just That's why we want to encourage everybody here to come into the business. See it, get yeah, enthused by what they see, speaking to these great guys and coming back and saying, I really want to be a chef. Yeah, I'm in it. Yep. Yeah. So, here we go. So, put, can you, is this on camera? Can you all see this? Yeah, you're on camera. It's good, yeah. So, so there's, there's, your, there's, your, there's your nage, your, your broth, if you like, your, your, your cool bouillon, which we're going we're gonna to poach the fish in. So it's really, really aromatic. And we've got one, we've got one star anise in there. So the star anise is obviously a big thing in Chinese cookery. And uh, when I was working in France, um, at a three star over there, he was really interested in fusion food. And yep. he went to China and Japan, and he brought star anise back. So we were using it in various dishes in France 40 odd years ago, which I, we brought back to Garrosh and we did various things with it. It's now used a lot, it gives it an amazing, a depth of flavour, you can smell it. And, mm, you could drink that, it's really good. So that goes on there, not too salty. That goes back on here, ready to poach the fish. Right, let's talk about this. So the next kind of classic sauce today. I'll come back, oh, no, you carry on, no, it's fine. So I'll stop for a second. So what Derek's doing now, we're gonna, he's cracking, he's cracking the claws. We're gonna leave the, the fish, we're gonna leave the meat in the claws like that. And then he's gonna trim the, trim the, um, Tails. The tail up, and then we're gonna. You're gonna cook it with the thing through, weren't you? Yeah, I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> so you see, just caught. I just caught him out. So That's these, okay. So these Good. skewers on here. What we were gonna. Thank you very much. What we were gonna do. We were gonna put. You can put a skewer through the lobster like that before you cook it, and it keeps it nice and straight. <coughs> yeah. oh. That's why I got you the skewers. <laughs> For strike. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, does it? No. We've got, we've got love, we've got love, it does not matter. Lovely fresh fish, right, so, so Derek's, Derek's trimming that up, he's going to carry on doing this. Um, again, mentioning the ruse again, what, what they did show me, to serve, to, to serve a lobster, you used to trim these, um, these bits, the claws up here as well. So it's, it's also nice and clean and time before you chop it. If you're chopping it in half, it looks great. So, well, that's another thing. Right, so, done. so, where's all the stuff for the beurre blanc, Derek? It's all here? So, so in here, shallots, yep. butter, yep. sweated off, could yep. do with a little bit more. We've got some uh, champagne, 
um, double cream. Yep. And then we've got a butter here and salted okay, butter. So, so we're going to make a beurre blanc, which in English is basically a white, a white butter sauce. And historically, it's from um, Brittany on the coast of France, where butter, cream, camembert, brie comes from. And um, it was traditionally served with poached fish. So you'd sweat your shallots down, a bit of white, a bit of white wine, sometimes white wine vinegar. We like a bit of white wine vinegar because it gives it a sharpness. And um, being slightly extravagant today, um, on the Gavroche menu, and it's, it is still on the menu there, we use champagne in the reduction. You don't have to, don't wince. It's a bit of, but it, it looked good on the menu, champagne butter sauce. Um, so that's what we've done there. But cheap, any dry white wine will work well. And a bit of sharpness from the white man vinegar is really, really important. Traditionally, a beurre blanc wouldn't have had, it would have really made with a vinegar, a really good white man vinegar. That's a splash of wine, no cream, and just the butter, which is, so it becomes white, which is where the word beurre blanc comes from, white, white butter. That goes on, we're going to reduce that down. I'm going to put a wee bit of cream. The cream adds, creates an emulsion, so it means your butter sauce isn't, isn't, isn't going to split, or it's going to split less easier. And then that's it. We're gonna, then we're going to whisk the butter in. So it's got to be kept warm so it doesn't, doesn't um, set up and split. Right, so um, back to the fish. So here we go. Look at this. So we've got two superb, thank you, Stuart, okay. superb fillets of lemon sole there. Absolutely gorgeous. And what he's going to do for me, he's just going to... Take that little bit of bone down the middle out for me. You want to end it four bits in? Uh, uh, yes, yep. please. So sure. We're going to cut yep. that into, into four. Okay. And this is the salt crust. I'm just going to add a wee, a wee bit of flour to this salt crust. It's just a little bit. Oh, forks. <laughs> Here we go. We found so there's eight, there's, 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 there's 15 forks in there. And one spoon there. Okay. Here we go. So we've. A wee bit of flour will bring, we'll bring that together, goes in there. You can, make, you can make it with flour as well if you want, but uh, we're just going like to bring it together. Right, Dave, lobster done. Yep. We're going to do the head as well. Let's yeah. decor. All, what do you want? Trimmed up. Just, just take off the, take that off. Yep. Pull the base out. So this is a male lobster, so it's got no coral inside it. It makes it slightly easier to use. You can take the coral out before you cook it. Yep. And turn it into a, sorry. Okay. Okay, great. Into a butter. Lobster butter, which is green in colour, you can finish into a sauce at the last minute, which makes it lovely and orange. Great. Any questions at the moment? Everyone, is it all making sense? We all good? All interesting enough? Yep. Cool. Right, so I'll come back to those lemon sole fillets in a minute. I'm going to finish that crust off there. And I'm going to talk about, talk about the sea bass, which is going to canoe. Yes, yes canoe. Okay, yes. Great. Okay, great. I've never heard that. It's a good expression. Not, I don't know. Uh, yeah. good. I know, I know what you mean. It looks you like know. it. Looks like ah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Certainly does. Right, so that's that's pretty much ready. Give my hands a wee wash down here. There we go. And we're going to get this. I'm going to get this lemon sole ready. So we put that over there, Derek, for the sea bass. Very okay. Sure. So that's ready to that's ready to get poached off. There. How's that doing? Okay. Yeah. One more minute. We'll add the cream. So 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 reducing reducing. Just stop for a second. We'll show them what's going on. So that's getting. That's getting reduced down now. You can smell it, it smells great. Reduce that by about half, then I'm going to add the cream, reduce it down again, then I'm going to put the butter, I'm going to put the butter in. Good okay? Yep. Great, cool. So, um, the, the sole is here, we'll put that on there. And you can do various things with it. You, can, you could put a fish mousse inside and, and stuff it like that. You could, you could roll it uh, if you wanted to. Like, like that, and you can you could also put a mousse inside, and then put a skewer through it and steam it, and poach it. You could leave it like that. But what, we, what we're going to do today, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're just going to we're just going to fold it over, which is which is just a fillet or a pub yet, if you like. Is that right, George? Yeah, absolutely. It looks stonking fresh. So we're going to keep it really nice, really nice and simple like that today. There we go. So you can do lots of different things, but we, want, we wanted to keep it pretty straightforward. I like, I like to put a mousse inside and then roll it. Something like a salmon mousse is good with some herbs in, so you get a nice, a nice, a nice pink colour. So there we go. That goes on there. And 
last, last but not least, um, Stuart's going to prep that um, the sea bass. So, just put those on there. Give that to you. Get that away, Stuart. Okay. Okay. So he's going to skin. He's going to scale it first. <coughs> he's going to well, trim the gills are going to come out. I'm going to trim all the all the fins off here. Um, tied up the tail. Then he's going to scale it, and then he's going to bone it, bone it out from the back. Yeah. So canoe, it, canoe with it. Right, so there's a wee bit, there's a wee bit of skill there. Okay, so right, Derek, what's next? Okay, so, so finish the bourbon blanc. Yeah. So the cream's reducing. I'm going to monte in the butter. Yeah. In about 30 seconds, and then we need to think about the salt and now do glary sauce. Yeah, ab yeah, absolutely. Fine. So where's the pan for the salt? Here we go. So we've got enough space. Can we get rid of that. Or yep. Are you okay. Mm -hmm. So put everything in there that we need for the salt, please, Derek. Yep. So we're going to start cooking the, the, the lemon salt. How, how are we doing for time, George? Are we okay? We're doing fine. You need to get your finger out, though. Okay, cool. Do what, sorry, George? I wouldn't have said that 30 years ago. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're doing fine. Okay, cool. First time, first time I met Stephen, um, I, had a, I had a fish restaurant up in Aberdeen. <coughs> In the in the days of the days of oil, when you made so much money, you were hiding it underneath your bed. Hope there's not a tax man here. And I was invited down to um, to London by Michel Roux to meet Mr. Stephen. And uh, remember, I was the guest here. And uh, I walked into the kitchen, and he was standing in the hot plate, dead pan face. I thought, I'm a welcome. There was no hand outstretched. Um, then there was, and uh, I'll tell you what. I um, seen a kitchen just running like clockwork. It was just one of the most enlightening experiences of my young life, um, seeing your kitchen. I wasn't being unfriendly, George, I was just... Being you, were fo you were focused, being me, yeah. you were focused, I was, I was you were focused. Me, I, was being, I was focused, yeah. Well, Derek, okay. so tell, well, Derek give us a, just go through the... We'll talk about when you were at Gavosh in the second grade, but yep. just go through where you're up to now and your cooking, please. Okay, so we're going to finish the, the bourbon blanc, as yep. you said, and then this sauce du glary, which is actually a new one to me. I never made it before. Well, I wasn't aware I made it. Didn't know the name. You said to me you'd done it loads of times. I know, like, I was lying. Okay, fine. Um, okay. So, <laughs> um, so shallots. Again, a lot of these base sauces are butter, shallots, reduction of white wine and stock. Yeah. So we've got the butter, we've got the shallots. They're going to sweat off. No colour, a little bit hot. Um, let them cook for one or two minutes. And then we're going to add the fish. You glaze it with a little bit of uh, chartreuse, fish stock, and then we'll take the fish out, we'll finish it with the cream, parsley, and concas. Really classic, uh, about a thousand calories in probably God every knows. spoonful. Yeah. So, yeah. so we'll get the fish ready. We're going to get that board. It's going to trim. So, Derek, how long ago was it that um, you did your. Uh, Competition with young, with Master Chef, the professionals. How many years ago now? Fifteen. Fifteen. You don't look that old. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> 2008. That's right. Um, 23 when I done it. Yeah. It was good. And uh, you worked with Joe then? Yeah, yeah. Wow. He was the one that said, oh, "You can do it," and I was like, "No, no, no." Joe was the mentor, mentor to so many, eh? Yeah. The famous Queenie. Yeah, absolutely. There he is. So yeah, it's a long time ago. Uh, everybody still asks me about the program, but it's been a bit of a roller coaster journey since then. Uh, been amazing, hard times and good times. Um, yeah. So yeah. Really and your your prodigy, he obviously did very well. Yeah, this Saga. Last year there, yeah. Saga. He was uh, determined that he wanted to experience it this year, and we did the application, and he done really well. Unfortunately, he never won, but he had an amazing experience. Yeah, he did, yeah. He, he's back in India now, so he's uh, he's having two months off, and uh, he got married. So. Yeah, he's doing really well. We're proud top, of him. top boy. Yeah, really good. Okay. Yeah. So shallots, a bit of butter. Yep. Sorry. Let that cook. Okay, so. so we're gonna start. Yeah, we're gonna start cooking now. So we're gonna put the. You still got some white wine cooking around, Derek? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do, chef. Okay, fine. So we're gonna put the salt in there. Like that. Okay. There we are. Thank you very much indeed. It's shattered, so oh. It's shattered. It's gonna. Yeah. We That's right. Yeah. Uh, a wee bit okay. of white That's wine. Right. I'm gonna put a wee bit of fish stock in there That's as well. Right. And right, so when you, when you see this, nice bit of fish stock. We all made fish stock at college. We all made, yes, right, good, cool, lovely. So that's going to go in there. We're going to start to cook that. Okay, so can you turn that up a bit, Yeah, sure. And we haven't got any grease with paper, have we? No. No, it doesn't matter. I'll get it. Look, you get it. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put a piece of paper on top. I'll make a coffee. I'll get you some. Okay, fine, cool. So that, that's starting to cook in there. No, don't, don't put any salt in just yet. 
that's going, that's going to cook in a couple of minutes. Okay, right, so get another tray, which is here. Okay, cool. So here we go. So it's just need to trim those off there. Yeah. That comes off here, Stuart, please. So it's a nice, it's a nice tidy job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so just looking down here. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's a, so scaling fish um, can be a bit tricky sometimes. So what we're going to do? I'm just going to wee, give it a wee, try not to wash it. A wee dicht. Um, just try and keep it as nice as dry. You can, you can, you can bake it on the bone, but... Um, I have to say, most times I've seen it's been baked on the bone, Stephen. Yeah, this is, I'm just showing a, a wee technique here as well, so something a bit different for all the, uh, all the students today. Yeah, absolutely. So it's completely... Let's get this on the camera so you can see, guys. There you go. So it's canoed. Stuart calls it complete, completely boned out from the back, and the be the belly the belly's intact, so you can you can stuff it with all kinds of different things. But well, we're just going to bake it, so when you serve it, you haven't got the bones in the middle. Really easy to do. Um, the Ruse used to do a dish with sea bass with fennel. Have we done that, Derek? Yes, chef. And we used to make it with um, diced fennel, diced shallot, uh, duck salad mushrooms, sweat them off, white wine, cream it. And it would be like a very, very thick, dense mixture, which would go cooled off, go inside, you'd fold it over, and you'd bake it in parchment, which is called on, on, on papillote. So there we go. Do you want to get, get your hands in that? Just mix it together for me, if you don't mind. Okay. Give your hands a wee yeah. wipe. Okay. Yeah. So that's all, the fish, that's all the fish out of the way. So that's all, sure. the, yep. all the messy stuff so. done down that in. I'm glad he's doing it and not me. Thanks, Derek. So that, that's the way to go. In a couple of minutes, we're going to start cooking the, the monkfish. We're going to pan fry it down and get a bit of space on the stove, yeah? You okay there? No, good. Yeah, George, I've got it. I've got some scissors here. Thank you. Great. Wonderful. Sorry? Marvellous. Thank you. Well, great stuff. So, George has made me a little lid for the, for the fish. Thank you, George. Oh, a little, little, little lid, little, little cartouche, you call it. Those on top of there, just to keep the, the moisture in. How many? Is it, so all the all the students here from the from the colleges. Who works in a college kitchen that hasn't got any lids? Loads of hands going up. No. So Kendall College, which I do quite a bit of work with in the in the Lake District, they've got one lid in the whole kitchen. So I'm saying, what? Anyway, it drives drives me crazy. But anyway, never mind. That's that's another, that's another story. Right. So you wanted George? Oh, no, I need this miss. Okay, so beurre blanc. Thank Talk you. about that, please, sir, Derek. Yeah, so the beurre blanc, shallots, white wine vinegar. Under that, please. Sorry, chef. It's a wee bit more heat in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, beurre blanc, yeah. shallots, butter, vinegar, white wine, uh, and then we've just added a touch of cream, wrung it down, and we've whipped in uh, less than 250 grams of butter, and that's really it. Uh, a little bit of lemon juice, salt and pepper. Um, yeah, very rich. Thank you. Right, love it. Very okay, French. So yeah, we're start poaching the yeah. start poaching the cod. So that goes in here, like so, in the, in the cool bouillon. I think we'll probably get two in there. Manage two. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So there's two in there. We need a wee bit more heat in there. So remind us what's in this cool bouillon again, please. Derek. Yeah. So we've got fish stock. We've got uh, bouquet garni, star anise, peppercorns, lemon, white wine, white wine vinegar. Very classic. Um, full of flavour. Yep. I don't know why we've got so many forks. No, no well, you've got some. Derek, 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 your spoon's down below. Cheers. Okay, so there's your beurre blanc, it's looking good, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Fish is cooking nicely there. There we go. Indu induction's great. It's a modern way of cooking. But sometimes a wee bit of gas is quite nice, I have to say. Then he knocked my induction. Right, I got so these bonnie new for you. Pardon? Bonnie and new for you. <laughs> right, so we're going to have a look at this. I'm going to bring this into camera. Yeah, Hello. What are you doing? Yeah. So, so there we go. So there's, there's your, your soul. You just bring it a bit towards you, Stephen. Yeah, just get it on the camera. Oh, good. There we go. So you can see it cooks very, very quickly indeed. So we're going to turn it over like that. And then for another 30 seconds, maybe a minute, we're going we're gonna to take it out. And then we're going to, thank you, and we're going to finish the sauce in the pan. So, there we go. Leave it like that. It's almost ready. 
Are you done with the sh fish at the end of the table, Chef? I beg your pardon? You've prepped all your fish? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're all done now. That. that can all go. Right, so now we're going to do... Just yes, We're going to do the, uh, the sea bass, so we're going to... Get it back on ice. I'll put some... I'll take, I'll take that back. Just right. on the, grab that on the tray. Like so. We're just... We're okay for time? Yep. Yeah, that's we'll, good. We'll go a wee bit... We're, we're, we're going to run a, a wee bit over. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. What time? Didn't we start a wee bit later, George? No, no. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, you're fine. fine. I like it. Excuses. So yeah, that goes on the base, like so. Fish goes on top. Make sure it's covered. And we're going to bake. We're going to bake that in the oven. Should be delicious. What sauce are we going to serve with this, Derek? Uh, Beurre blanc. Beurre blanc. Okay, great. Wow. Be perfect. Okay. There we go. So traditionally, this would be taken to the table to serve, Stephen, or? Correct. Correct, George. Yes, bro. So sorry. Served at the table. Right, that uh, lemon sole can come out, Derek, please. Yeah, sure. Gonna be ready. We oui, chef. Thank you. So, oh, the lemon sole's coming out. That's about ninety percent cooked. Cover it with a piece of paper, and it comes out. It doesn't dry out, and we're going to finish the sauce off. So, I was talking to George about a velouté sauce. So, what's a velouté sauce? Anybody? And we're going to brave a hand up. Oh, here we go. A, a velouté, a puree. So, close. Any, Where are you? Anybody else? So, what's a, what is a velouté sauce? Is it? Um, so, George, going to help him? Do you want so, me to help them? Yeah, go on. Well, uh, we're full of college lecturers here, so I'm sure Mr. Rocky can tell us what a velouté is. Yeah. That's it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, David. And, the, so, and there's a prize too for the top lecturer. So, Whoa. So, so as he said, you want to shout that out again, David? Go on. Well, one, two, yeah. white stop. Exactly. It's a fish, white Once again. White yeah. fish stop. White fish stop, blonde Drew. Yeah. That's it. So, as it was David, just, as David just said there, so it's normally, normally with a roux. That's a classic way of doing it. We're not, use, we're not using a roux. We're just using the stock. And we're going to get to make that into a reduction. That's going in the oven. Okay. Out. Is the term velouté used in modern menus, you think, Derek? Sorry? Is Not the so term used, velouté used in modern menus now? I don't think so. I think a lot of people are getting away from rich right. sausage. Very over, much so. Over it's much, much lightness. Yeah, absolutely. It's quite I'll expensive there, to we'll use make, a, you know, use takes kitchen. energy for one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll just add uh, I think a lot of people want okay. lighter, right. lighter yeah, food. I'm totally with you on that. Health right, conscious guys. as well. So, we're now going to get a frying pan on. We're going to start cooking the monkfish. So we've got the lemon sole, which is here. So the dressing, aye, 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 aye. dressing for the lobster, it's ready yeah, to go through. We've got the butter sauce that ready that here. Is that right, Derek? Yeah. Let's have a look at the, um, let's have a look at the, the cod, see how we're getting on with yeah, this. It's very close. So here's your, ready? here's your down with cod. Yeah. Look, let's bring, can you see that? Is that on camera or not? No, I could you okay. Sorry, I'll bring it over, so. So there we go. Towards so, you. Which way? This way? That way. This way, okay. Is that it? Yeah, fine, okay. So there we go. So that's poaching nicely. And we're going to take the skin off when it's cooked. Uh, not quite there, yeah? A couple of minutes, Derek, yeah? Wait. We're all good. Right, so Derek's got a, a non-stick pan on. And we're going to start cooking the, um, the monkfish, which is here. And at the same time, we'll cook, <coughs> let's cook these cheeks as well, Derek, yeah? You want this season, Chef? Pardon? Season? Aye. Yes, please. I'm going to warm the lobster up in the oven in a second. And that's going to be ready for, for the Bois Boudron dressing here. Have we missed anything, Derek? We all good? I don't think so. Okay. We're good. Right, cool. So, there's, the, there's your reduction for your, for your, for your lemon sole. It smells amazing. Oh, it's good. Coming down. Yep. That's coming I can down smell nicely. a star anise from here. Pardon? I can smell a star anise from here. It's beautiful. Good. So, so we'll get a few plates up here. Is this good for the plates? Yes, no, yep. Let's get rid of that. Down, down this end. So you can see if you ever if you're ever scaling sea bass, then do it outside, preferably. Or <laughs> best place for it. Okay. Cook today. Sorry? 
Here we go. So what we're going to do is, when the chefs have um, presented the dishes on the plates, we're actually going to bring a table round to the front here, and we'll put everything out. Derek and Stephen can engage with you, talk about the dishes, talk about fish. You can do pictures, you can do whatever you want, and it'll allow us to clear the stage um, for Mr. Plowman coming on stage. Mr. Who? Plowman. Oh, yeah, sure. There's another, he's, he's another rude lad as well. Yeah. Uh, he was at water side in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a bit of a clique here. Pardon? There's a bit of a clique here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a, le there's a legacy, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well Albert, of course, Albert, Albert set up um, Shea Roo in Scotland with the, with the, uh, the Roo Consultancy. So at one point, he was running six, was running six places up here. Were um, you running them? Pardon? Did you run them? I did a wee bit of work for him. You did and, a wee bit? Um, only a wee bit. Very interesting, and he had just—he had an amazing, as I said, he had an amazing love for this country, for its people, and the pro and, and, and the produce. His, fa his favourite place, but he just used to love the Highlands. He just loves Scotland, yeah. no part. He, he had he had a, he had a special uh, love for Cromlicks, which he set yeah. up with uh, Andy Murray's yeah, and, yeah, and, and his mother. It's a great spot. Ah, fantastic. So what we're going to do with the lobster is we're going to—we don't need those. Guys. Could you maybe just take that to the middle of the screen again, just? Sorry, uh, I, was just, I was just saying if you could play it up near the near the hob, so it was on, on screen. Oh, right, sorry. They were just oh, saying that. Okay, sorry. I didn't, I didn't get that. So you want, you want, to, move it? Right. want to move everything over here? No, oh, you're fine. You're fine now. We're fine here, or John? We were we're fine now. A wee bit more. There's your camera there, look. Okay, fine. Sorry. Beg your pardon. Okay, so. So we'll put that here. Is that good? Yeah, sorry. I didn't realise where the camera was. Excuse me. Don't shoot me. Please, there's your dishes. Right, so, how's this? Okay, so that's coming down. Yep. And then we're going to put some tomato in a minute, pass it last minute. Fish goes in for a few seconds. And Bob, Bob's, Bob's, Bob, Bob's your uncle there. Okay, Burr Blanc is here. So the monk, so the monk fish. I'll sort that. Yeah. Um, want some butter? Caramelization? No, 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 just oil. Let's keep it all wet. We keep it, we'll keep it the sauce. Right. Uh, just a, a motion base. So there we go. Cooking lovely in there. On the bone. So it won't shrink. The cod should be nearly ready, Derek, yeah? Say again, take Chef. That, the, the cod should be nearly done, yeah? We'll take, yes, Chef. We'll take yes. that out and we'll get that ready. Right, put it out, out here. Okay, here we go. Right, so the cod, the cod's going to be done. And we're going to drain that off. And yeah, Derek, here we go. Okay, lovely. There we are. Just push it in a bit. Yeah, we'll do. So, there we go. So, there we go. So, there's your cod. We're going to... We're going to skin that in a minute. Let's put those in there. We'll cook those as well, Derek. Yep. These, these are the cheeks. So if anyone wants to taste that, absolutely delicious. That's really, really nice. It's got my okay. name all over it. Put that down there. Have a wee look in here. Yep. Looking good. Okay. Give me, Derek, give me 10 minutes on that sea bass for you, please. Yes, yeah, sure. chef. Okay, cool. So I think we'll do two cod. We'll do one within that one. With the garnish on and one, okay, one plate, okay, yeah. cool. cool, great. So we need a we need a wee knife. We'll take this off here. Get the sticks out, and we're going to take the, the skin off, which will just fall off around the edge like that. There we go. There's my spatula. Got it. There we go. So we'll put it on the spatula like so. Should just come away like that. That's ready to go. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's gonna, it's gonna taste, it's gonna taste pretty good. So we're gonna do two. I'm gonna serve one with the butter sauce. I'm gonna serve one, one in the uh, in the naj itself, Derek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. So, same again. Gently take the skin off. I'm the side. How are you doing there, Derek? Right. Yeah, good. Okay, so that's gone back in, yeah. So, yeah. So fish is back in. I'm gonna put the tomato in a minute. And cook it down. The tomato's gonna go in, Derek. Yep. We should. Like that. There's your tomato con sassu. Lovely. Get more. It's great. Okay. It's all happening. It's all happening now. So take the remaining skin off of here and the side. Like so. There we go. There we are. Another piece of cod in there. So we're going to serve one in the nose. You're going to serve one with a beurre blanc, Derek. Yep. Oui. So. Oh, great. 
There we go. There's your something to give you a look. There's your nage. There. Lovely. Okay. What have we got around the back? There we go. Some of this. What time's Russell on, uh, George? Sorry? What time's Russell on? Oh, you're fine. Okay, fine. A wee bit of... You started late. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There we go. Okay. There's your card. Burr Blanc, uh, Derek, please. Oui. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. Yep. Oh. Both the same. Okay, so there's your Burr Blanc in there. Goes on top. Like so. Lovely. Nice and classical. A bit of greenery on there. Oh, a bit green on here. Right, so this is. There you go. So some samphire pudding on there? Yep, that's some samphire. Sea asparagus going on top. Put the lobster in the oven. So I'm going to warm the lobster in the oven just for a couple of minutes. Like so. There. Sea bass is nearly ready. Right, monkfish, Derek, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven for one minute, then we're ready. I'm going to put it in the oven for a minute. So cooking on the bone takes a wee, wee bit longer. You want to get the heat through to the centre. Yeah. But it keep, but it also keeps it keeps it nice and moist. Right, so soldier glary coming up. Here we go. Get rid of that. Go, to George. You with me, Derek? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All good. So here we go. Soul's coming up. Sauce is reducing nicely. Wee pinch of salt in there. Like that. Great, lovely. Another dish here. Put that on there. Don't need that. Out the way. Okay. There we go. So fish comes out. There. Now there's another famous dish which is um, Haddock Monte Carlo. So you take some absolutely gorgeous Scottish smoked haddock and you cook it the same way. So, ah, okay. So, which is a superb. Superb old school dish as well. There. I'm going to reduce that down a wee bit more. So this is a modern, modern take if you like on a, on a velouté. Thirty seconds, Derek. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in business. Okay. So that's that. That's lovely. Nice. There's your darn. And what what's, what's, what we're trying to do today as well? It's not just about flash presentation. It's just about using various cuts of fish and what you can do with them. So I'm sure, I know that Russell and certainly Graham later on, their presentation and his cooking style will be completely different from what we've done today. But we've done it very deliberately to, to show you different aspects of cooking. Um, some old school, which is, yeah. I think, relevant in this you day and age. You have, to, you have to learn that. Yeah, fine. So. You have to learn how to make shoe pastry in a pan before you make it in a Thermomix. Where's your boy with wrong direct this? So you've got a little jug here, okay. and then you have here extra so here. Here we go, thank you. So, here we go with the boy with wrong that we made before. Um, would have been great with the mackerel, um, but we're going to do this with the, um, the monkfish. You're not going to hear the end of this, my oh. boy, I can tell you. Lobster. Yep. So there's plenty of sauce there. Right, is that it, Derek? Wait. So that's good, that looks looking good. So a bit of sauce over the top, like that. Um, Huge thanks to CPM for sponsoring all this fish for us. Very, very grateful. Sure. Sorry, George. CPM sponsoring all this lovely fish for us. Yeah. Apart from the macro, which I know you're going right. to. So yeah, absolutely. Right. Sorry, George. Okay, so Derek's got the Derek's got the monkfish. Give that a wee wipe here. So. Bonny. I think we'll put a bit more bubble drawn out because I think that might be quite popular. Okay, so that goes in the bowl in your sauce boat there. I think this might be on a few menus in the next few weeks. <laughs> Especially coming into yeah, spring, yeah. spring and summer. Yeah. As I said, all these recipes will be on the Master Chef's website. Okay. Sorry, Derek. Okay, so good. sauce goes over the top. Like that. Not many calories in this one. Nice light. <laughs> but I tell you what, it's going to taste. Tastes fabulous. It's going to taste bloody good. Mm. Right, Derek. So now we're going to do the. Lot. Monk Monk fish. Fish, yeah. yeah. So here we go. So a lovely colour on the fish. On, that's cool, Derek, definitely. Don't worry. That's cool. 
Right, so you pick that up in there like this. Thank you. So this, as I said, this would have been mackerel fillet, but now we've gone for the, the monk tail, cut through. So, so that goes over the top like that. So what kind of fish would it have been? Mackerel. Ah, oh, mackerel. Right, mackerel okay. fillet, the one that, yeah. I think we're getting the idea now. There we go. That's that. However, it's beautiful, beautiful monkfish. Good. So, yes. Is that, we'll bring that over here, like that. So, just the sea bass to come out yep. of the oven. So, we've got the Sol de Galeria classic, um, poached in fish stock, white wine sauce, cream, tomato, um, very old school. The question is, does it have, is it relevant today? I don't know, but it's good eating. That's a modern kind of sauce, a nice light dressing, as is the, the monkfish. Where are those monkfish cheeks? Oh, here we well, go. Well, we, can, we can eat those, Derek. Fabulous skills there and um, fabulous techniques. No, Great check. insight into fish and shellfish. Thank you. And we just got the... No, we're just waiting on our... Sea bass which to come out. I sense is... So, maybe a minute away. Okay, so... Am I okay putting that in there, George, yeah? Oh, does that not look just... So there's your, there's your bass. You want to check it's cooked, Derek? Yeah. It should be. I think it I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. If I can get in. There you go. You'll have to bash it, Derek. Yeah. That's good. So just give it a... You need a spoon, really, don't we? Or a knife to cut it. He says, here you go. Got it, Derek. Spoon sure underneath. One underneath, Derek. Underneath. Here we go. Here we go. Spin it off. There we go. Got it. So, as George said, this would have been traditionally served at the table. Job, job for the front of house. There we go. Got it. Wow. You see the heat that's in there and the steam that's coming off, like so. Pull it off there gently. There we go. Sorry. It's quite hot, Derek, yeah? Three sure. Three sure, we. So just pull that off like that. There we go. Beautiful. So there's your sea bass. We haven't got enough plates, have we? Nope. We should run out. We don't you use too many. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. What the hell? Is <laughs> Can somebody? We've got. We've got a clean tray. Spare tray, do we? Yeah. Here we go. Give that a wipe. Give no, it to we'll me. Give, give that I'll a wipe. We'll use that. So, it's going to leave this. Get the salt crust off here. And we're going to leave that hole so you can dig into it mm -hmm. when you when mm -hmm. you come round. Okay. We're going to set. We're going to leave it on the on the base so you can dig in and have a taste of that. So. Just waiting for a tray to put that on because I used because I used too many trays and used too many plates. Sorry. So what I'm going to do, Stephen, we're we'll just going to put your um, dishes onto the front table. Yeah. yeah. If you and Derek would um, speak to the students, boys and girls, anybody who would like to learn or ask you some questions, oh, that's for your fish if you want it. Sorry. Or do you want it on the tray? I'm, I'm going to put oh, it on the tray. Probably on they the can tray. use that to serve it on. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. You go. Thank you. There we go. There's your sea bass on there, like that. And we've got, we've got some yep. got sauce to go with it. Put them down there. We're just going to put them in the front table, Stephen. Yeah, sure. So, that was an absolute belter. You rattled a lot of product through there. there. Thank you so much, Stuart. Well done. Um, a great big round of applause for Stephen and Derek.